in this mini lesson, we're going to talk about absolute value. So absolute value is basically a definition word on the distance from zero. So absolute value is the distance from zero on a number line. Distance can never be negative. So if I walked five feet backwards, we would say backwards is a negative integer, so it is negative five. So if I walked five feet backwards, I still walked five feet. I still measure five feet. There's no such thing as a negative measurement, all right? So how do we show absolute value? We show absolute value with these two parallel lines that surround our number or our expression. So here I have n, n stands for a number we don't know. So if we take the absolute value of n, it's still n. So if I plugged in six here, the absolute value is six, it would be six. Here, if I have negative n, the absolute value of negative n, so again, if I plus um, insert six in here, the absolute value of negative six would still be six, all right? So here's some examples. So I have the absolute value of five and the absolute value of negative four. So if I look at this on the number line, the absolute value of five is how far is it from zero to five? So if I bunny hop over one, two, three, four, five, the absolute value of five is five. So the distance from zero to five is five. What about negative four? So the absolute value of negative four. So the absolute value of negative four is how far is it from zero to negative four? It is one, two, three, four spots. So the absolute value of negative four is four. Okay, going on, sometimes we have a negative in front of our absolute value symbols. This is not meant to confuse us whatsoever. Just think about it as the opposite of the opposite again. If I just ignore this for a minute, the absolute value of five is five, okay? We can view this negative sign as the opposite. So the opposite of the absolute value of five is negative five, okay? You can also think about it as it just travels from here to there, okay? The negative in front always keeps my answer negative. So again, if I cover up my, my negative sign here, what is the absolute value of negative six? it's positive six, because remember, distance is never negative. So again, I have six written here, but because I have this negative sign in the front, it travels and goes in front of my positive six. So the opposite or the negative of the absolute value of negative six is negative six, okay? So again, these negatives in front aren't meant to confuse you they just travel with my answer. So it's just like parentheses with order of operations. I do what's inside of my brackets or my grouping symbols. And here my absolute value is a grouping type of a grouping symbol. So this negative just travels with it. Okay, what if I wanna order absolute values and integers from greatest to least? So again, I can use a number line to help me or I can just rewrite all my absolute values below and I can determine which would be the value of each absolute value. So let's go ahead and talk about negative seven. So we have the absolute value of negative seven. So again, what's the distance from zero to negative seven? So this right here becomes positive seven. So if I wanted to graph this, I would have the absolute value of negative seven would be at positive seven. So this is where I would graph negative seven with the absolute value bars around it. So that is where that would land, okay? Zero is obviously by zero. There's nothing for me to do there. Negative seven is all the way over here at negative seven, okay? The absolute value of positive three so this just becomes positive three. So I would find positive three and go ahead and put the absolute value of three above it. And then we have negative three. So if I find negative three and I graph it here. So here is where all my values are. 
and I want to order them again from greatest to least. So that means I need to start at my far left side and work my way to the right. So my greatest value is actually the absolute value of negative 7. Oops, that looks like a parenthesis and not an absolute value sign. Then I have the absolute value of 3. Then 0, then negative 3, and then negative 7. Okay, so again, all my absolute value signs, since there's no negatives in front of it, are all positive. So those are my greater values. And then we go to the, um, go down to our lower numbers, which is down by negative seven. And that is how we order from greatest to least absolute values of integers. And that is the conclusion of our absolute value lesson.